Have you noticed all the tyranny happening in the world right now? Authoritarian regimes demanding obedience so they can take over? Trying to create two classes of citizens with their passports and mandates violating all your constitutional rights? And maybe you've been pretending like nothing's happening because you're afraid to speak out. Well, I just want you to know, that's great. It would be wrong to speak out at a time like this. Here's why. For starters, speaking out means you could lose some people's approval, and that would be really scary for you. That's why you shouldn't do it, because of your fear. And therefore, not speaking out means you'll gain the approval of people who approve of living in fear. Speaking out requires bravery, and nobody respects people who are brave. They only respect those who are agreeable all the time. And if you can stay in line with the agreeability of tyrants, then you know you're doing good work in the world because you're aligned with tyrants. I get it, you don't wanna speak out because you're afraid you might lose some things, like a job, friends, your status quo. And if you look at tyrannical regimes and how they work, you'll see that by not speaking out in order to protect yourself from losing those things, then eventually you'll lose everything. <laughs> But who cares? At least you'll still be agreeable. When evil and abuse are happening to people, the heroes of society see it and do nothing. You're a hero who doesn't want to help people to protect your own self-interest. Keep it up. In Vegas, the Clark County Commission voted on and passed a resolution banning free speech. And the White House is telling Facebook what to censor. This is objectively the government taking away your First Amendment right to free speech. And you not speaking out about it now while you have the chance helps create a better world where you can't speak out about it, even if you wanted to. It's all for your protection, right? So of course you wouldn't want to speak out against such helpful protection. In Australia, government soldiers are shooting people with rubber bullets for peacefully protesting against their mandates, and they're forcefully locking people in their homes. Here they've thrown a 74-year-old woman to the ground and are dousing her in pepper spray. <laughs> can we all just please agree this is still for our protection? Because if we can agree on that, then we won't have to be inconvenienced by standing up for our rights. The authorities are violating everyone's constitutional rights by, amongst other things, closing businesses, closing churches, and forcing children to cover their faces. And you should continue not speaking up about it because they don't want you to. It's like the abusers will be implementing a social credit system, and by watching it all happen while you're doing and saying nothing, you're already earning yourself a good social credit score, which keeps you in good standing with the abusers rather than being in good standing with good people. If Hollywood celebrities who will be kicked out of the industry for not following the mainstream narrative are telling you to shut up and follow the mainstream narrative, I think it's a good idea to shut up and follow the mainstream narrative. If someone who's sold their soul for money is telling you to do something because they were paid money to tell you to do that something, then I think it's a good idea for you to do that something. Maybe you're an influencer that doesn't want to disturb their following so you don't risk losing the comfortable life you have. You of all people should not be speaking out because unapologetically standing for what's right might put you at risk of actually earning your audience's respect. Banning people from participating in society isn't an issue you should speak up on, because then they might think you're one of them. So instead, when you look at the days when blacks had less rights, women had no rights, and the Nazis were discriminating against Jews from participating in normal society, you'll want to do your best to believe that this time, it's a good idea. And it is a good idea because it's for your protection. The same way whites were protected from blacks and Germans were protected from Jews. So it's like that. One day they'll probably make movies about people like you who stood by doing nothing while society was divided and destroyed by authoritarians. So like Schindler's List, they made a movie about a guy who helped save the lives of people who were being discriminated against. But that's not very relatable to you. Wouldn't you rather watch a movie about the people who just shut up and turned in their neighbors? If you did speak out, it might have been cool one day to have your kids and grandkids thank you for fighting for their freedom. But instead, thanks to your willingness to not speak up for their freedom because you're too scared, 
your kids and grandkids might not ever know what freedom is because of you. I think with all that's going on in the world right now, the right thing to do is to just shut up and let it happen. If you've been standing on the sidelines doing nothing, even though things don't quite seem right to you, just keep standing there. Because if something really needs to be done, then someone else will do it, right? What's up, my friend? Quick message from my heart to yours. I know we're living in a very unique time in history where unquestionably there's ill-intentioned people trying to take away our rights. And I know speaking out and doing what's right can be scary and it can be uncomfortable. But now is the time when we need the lions to wake up. And indeed, the lions are waking up. Lions aren't afraid to do what's right and speak out just because it's uncomfortable. Lions are the ones with the courage to speak out and do what's right, even when it's uncomfortable. During this time when tyrants are trying to take freedoms, a saying comes to mind. The truth shall set you free. But in order for the truth to set us free, the truth needs to be spoken and acted upon. That's why we need the lions to speak the truth as they see it, boldly, passionately, and peacefully. There's a lion inside of you. And it's time for your lion to wake the f up. The time is now, lions. Hey, before you go, I have a question. Do you want to be as ripped and as perfect as I am? Yes. Uh, for that reason, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Blood Sugar Breakthrough by Bioptimizers. I'll tell you why I love Blood Sugar Breakthrough in just a second. But first, welcome here to my state-of-the-art filming studio on my back porch. It's good to have you here. Oh, camera angle change. Let me ask you a question. How much better do you feel when you have crisp, clean clarity of thought, good physical energy, and your body feels fit and healthy? <clears throat> well, unless you've fallen for all the Marxism, I'm guessing that you're like me, where you feel better. So because I love feeling that way, that's why I love Blood Sugar Breakthrough. It solves the problems of mental fog, slow thinking, low energy, and feeling unfit, looking unfit, and being unhealthy. How does it do that, JP? It's a good question. It does it because having good stable blood sugar is essential for having good crisp, clean thinking, good physical energy, and keeping your health and fitness robust. But unfortunately, keeping your blood sugar stable all day is easier said than done. That's why a lot of people fail at it. But fortunately, blood sugar breakthrough and its all natural ingredients help you keep your blood sugar stable throughout the day so you can have clear thinking, good physical energy, stable throughout the day, and keep your health and fitness robust. If you wanna join me in having blood sugar breakthrough support you in feeling great, then just go to bloodsugarbreakthrough.health slash JP20 and use a discount code AWJP for a healthy discount.